Welcome to Castle Peregrine. In the time of King Peregrine, this magnificent edifice was the seat of power and home to the royal household. Now it is home only to ghosts and forgotten memories. For rescuing us, kind sir. Forgive us, master. We have no pig to reward you, but we'd be honored if you'd accept these shiny gold colored stones as a token of our thanks.
Sir Daniel Fortescue, it's been a long time. Welcome back to your home. But it is sad that you should see it so. The jewel in Galomir's crown has become a corrupt haven for Zarak's army of shadow demons. Sir Fortescue, noblest of my courtiers, bravest of my captains. Oh, that we should meet at such a dark hour, with the fate of this realm lying once again in your hands. Good God, Fortescue, what's happened to your jaw? <laughs> Bad luck, old man. Now look. Zarok's army of shadow demons hide beneath us within this very mountain. They prepare as we speak to invade fair Galomir. If we are to thwart his plans, we must bring down the castle on top of them. We must unleash the lava behind the floodgates. I can take you to the gate's control lever, but you alone can pull it. <laughs> of course, it's a highly dangerous mission, even for a dead man. I dare say that when that fiend sees what you've done, he'll make sure you spend eternity in the most unspeakable torment. 
But then, I know these things mean nothing to a man of your iron will. Eh, hey, Fortescue? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Splendid. Good luck, old friend. The lava has been released, and then the castle is collapsing. We'll not have long to defeat the stone golems and escape the ensuing inferno. Well, hello, stranger. I've got a little present for you. Why don't you shut your eye and hold out your hand? 